Hello, and in today's psalm, the psalm writer's really honest. He tells God kind of the bad things that are happening to him and the ways that he needs help. But he also acknowledges that God very much can help him. And he looks to God to help him, to get him out of the situation he's in. And then we jump through to the New Testament reading. And Jesus is at the point of his life where he's beginning to prepare his disciples when he's not around anymore. And he's teaching them that he is the way to the Father. And he is the way, the truth and the life. And we're going to make a signpost to help us think about this today. So here's our signpost. You will need your craft journal or a folded piece of paper, a piece of brown paper, pens, glue stick and scissors to, to make the craft kit. Trying to zoom in on all of them. <laughs> so, our first job is to cut the brown paper in half. We need to cut it in half this way, so I'm just folding it in half and cutting it. Then you need to cut one of Take one of your halves and fold it in half, cool. and then fold it in half again. I was going to say, you've okay. added drawings to the instructions, is this new? I have. <laughs> I obviously was in an arty mood. And I'm going to make three signs out of my leftover piece of brown paper. Here we go. And I'm just going to cut these out. Now, they're not perfect. They don't need to be. They just need to look like signs. Sounds good. Well, your cutting's always better than mine, so. <laughs> right, here we go. There's one. Being a teacher must mean a lot of cutting. Mm. Being a teaching assistant means even more. So, <laughs> here we go. Right, last one. Just get rid of these bits. Yeah, always could get rid of your waste because otherwise I accidentally use them instead. Yeah, that's my kind of thing. Right, okay. okay. So two, we need to write. So I'm just going to refold this bottom fold so all the folds are folding in. Yeah. And then on these two middle ones, I need to do some writing. So on the first one, I'm going to write a sign of oh how should I write that mm. <laughs> and then on the second half God's goodness sounds good so same as here same as there and then just at the top yeah I'm going to write God and is sounds good so your signpost should look like this. Now normally I say don't worry about the writing, but this week, it's not a lot, but this writing is really important. You can always get someone to help you. Then we need to think about these signs. Now one's gonna go this way, one's gonna go this way, and one's gonna go in the middle. So on the one that's gonna go this way, I'm going to write way. And on this middle one, on both sides, I'm going to write the word truth. Mm. Now, the cleverer among you will already know that this is about the John passage, not the Psalms passage. And then on this last one, I'm going to write life. Okay? Is, that, is, it, is it from the Bible verse, God is the way, the truth and the life? Very good, Beth. Now, step three. We need to get this signpost. We're going to need to just cut a little slit just here. So I'm just going to fold it in half make it really easy and then just cut a little snip I've got a little hole just oh, like that, that looks good yeah okay and then this truth I'm going to put this truth it's a so you need to thread your truth through and because you've got glue sticks now we don't need to do any folds we're just going to put a little bit of glue and just glue our truth inside our signpost mm. okay and our next step is to glue the way and the truth on the paper and I need oh, yeah. them about the right height so I'm going to use this as a guide sounds good I'm still remembering trying to make a fish out of folded pieces of paper once it wasn't good it did go down as well 
So we've got way on one side and then life is going on the other. Fab. So around the middle of your paper, making sure you've left enough gap between your writing so that this can fit in. So I might just move this across a little bit. And then we're going to glue our signpost on. So these two edges that you haven't written on, these are the ones that we need to glue. Fab. Okay. And then... So the two edges with no writing. The two edges with no writing, the two, and then this will go like this and into our book. So let me put it this way. So here we go. So here is our 3D signpost. There you wow, go. Wow, that looks really good. And then what we're going to do, on the glue dries a little bit, at the bottom, we're going to just yeah. draw some grass. Step four, thank you, Beth. Oh, we're yeah. going to add some grass and we're going to add some clouds. That's a grass. So here's my grass. If I want it to be a bit fancy, I can just go over it again with a different colour green. I could maybe manage that one. You could maybe manage this one. There's my grass. Now I'm going to draw two clouds. I'm going to make them quite big because I want to do some writing in them. Well, I could manage it. Anyone could, by the way. <laughs> big, Very big true. like bubble clouds. Big bubble clouds. I'm literally just going to do mine like this this time. And on the first bubble cloud on this side, I'm going to write, how do I know where to go for help? And then on the cloud on this side, I'm going to write John 14, 14, which says, you, you may ask for anything in my name. And I, I can't say, write that quickly. So you may ask. out to their knee or I'm trying to be a decent camera for, person. So ask me, I've got to squeeze in here, me for anything in my name and I will do it. I think that's right. <laughs> It's been a long day. <laughs> and I will do it. John 14, 14. So just down here. <laughs> Midget writing. Just left another space. John 14, 14. Fab. Okay, so this is to remind me that when I don't know where to go for help, I can always go and pray to God because God is the way, the truth and the life. And he'll always help us when times are tough.